Recording. Well, well, well. Finally. The GSA is here. So, the BMW R1300 GSA. And I guess there's been a lot of talk about this bike. And today I'm going to give you a first uh, ride impression, review, and also just talk a little bit more about the bike. Um, first things first, the look. Now, a lot of people have said a lot of things about um, photos and videos previously released. But certainly I find that this bike is fantastic in person. I find that uh, some of the angles that people have used haven't necessarily been the most complimentary. But having uh, looked at this bike now quite a bit in person, I think it's really, really good looking. Now this is a triple black. It's got the um, uh, adaptive rider height, which helps a lot, particularly when you've got uh, short legs like me. Comes in a range of colors. And I guess this is also going to come in the ASA version. Now the ASA is something that I'm really looking forward to riding because I love uh, what they've done on the uh, on the GS and having ridden the ASA in that, I think it's a fantastic product. Let's just have a, a little bit of a walk around in terms of uh, seeing the different angles. Now, um, it's a little bit more boxy in the front which I quite like, I like that industrial feel. Now, as I said, this is the triple black and you'll see the look on the tank. Now, I believe that you can change these options so you can get a, a range of uh, colors on the, on the side of the tank. Obviously, different wheels, this is the gold wheels and you can get them in black or um, I believe also the spoked wheels. Uh, just need to check on that fact. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, really good. A lot of capacity for additional storage and luggage. You'll see uh, the tank bag built in. Then also on the side, the uh, uh, ability to put some uh, luggage on there. And also the crash bars here, slightly different. Now I believe that the difference with that is to stop the bike from tilting over even further and damaging the inevitable bars when it uh, topples over. So, a few specs, I guess. I believe this makes 145 brake horse. And um, it is one kilo heavier at 269. The previous bike was 268. However, you don't feel that. I'll come back to that in a second. Then, I believe the bike is one centimeter longer. And it's traditional for new BMW bikes to have a completely different set of luggage. I've seen some of the luggage and it actually looks really, really good. You will have the introduction of the uh, central locking, as you can see here. And then also at the top, uh, the top box will um, have the uh, option. Actually, it might be the other way around. So the central locking, I believe, is at the top. And that is for power. Uh, one of the two. Uh, so bear with me. So basically what will happen is, is that you also have the ability to have a power socket in the boxes in order to have additional power to charge devices, etc. And then the other one will be the central locking. So forgive me if I'm not 100% certain of what that is. So I'm going to take you on a ride now. I've not ridden this bike before. So what you're going to see is entirely natural. And uh, let's find out together. Although... From what I've heard from people who've actually ridden it, it's a uh, really, really good looking bike. And I'm certainly looking forward to putting it through its paces. What I will say is I'm also out to get some photos. So whilst I'm doing that, might as well make this video. So if I uh, stop off, the reason is I'm snapping a few shots. So come on then, let's get uh, on the road and uh, see what this bike is all about. <clears throat> I've got the bike on the center stand. So let's get that down. There we go. Put that down, put it on the side. So this is where 
vertically challenged people, as in short legged like me, really enjoys the um, ability to uh, have the adaptive ride height. It makes it uh, significantly easier to get on and off. So let's see if we uh, <coughs> can have a little bit of fun. So sound wise, sounds very similar to the GS. Slightly better, slightly smoother. It's a little bit less donkey, um, but that's the, the um, I guess the features of uh, the box engine or just what you get with it. Uh, I, I have to say that I really love the engine in the, in the GS. Phenomenal performance, so if this is anything like that, it's gonna be great. So let's go. So the clutch seems quite smooth and uh, a bit of advertising. Thank you to uh, Barnstormer um, for making the, the bike available. Barnstormer and Alton, always good service, uh, always look after you. So uh, absolutely go and uh, chat to them about getting a test ride book uh, on this bike. So yeah, the first impressions is the clutch on this is, uh, is really smooth. Um, obviously, I've not ridden a huge amount. The bike is still warming up. But it does feel really good. Um, I'll test the brakes and things in a minute. Test the acceleration. Um, so from the outside, when I got on the bike, it felt really light. Um, so you don't feel the weight on the, on the bike uh, a huge amount. So... As you sat uh, on the bike and it's at balance point and you move it around uh, something to do with how the um, let me just close this something to do with how the uh, weight is placed on the bike uh, makes it feel really good so a little, little bit of acceleration yeah it feels uh, feels really nice I've got the bike in dynamic pro and as per usual it's got all of the uh, different settings so you've got rain mode, eco mode, um, road, um, dynamic pro, dynamic, uh, enduro, enduro pro. I prefer the uh, enduro pro settings myself or the dynamic pro or at least the pro settings because you can adjust that to suit yourself. And uh, I always like to have as much control of the bike as I uh, possibly can. So the tank on this, I believe, is a 30 liter tank. So it gives you a really good range. And it should improve in terms of fuel economy. So you should have the very least the same sort of mileage that you would get on the current 1250 GSA. Um, so a lot of little extra features. You'll see here, if you can see that, there's a little compartment for your phone where you can charge it as well. Uh, I believe there's some features where you can actually get a little plug-in, plug-and-play device that actually allows you to charge it wirelessly. Uh, I think that's quite good because particularly if you're traveling and you want to have a quick stop, take a photo, uh, really uh, convenient to be able to stop, grab a quick photo and be on your bike rather than getting off, taking your helmet off, etc, etc. And uh, I guess you end up not stopping because it's too much of a faff. So I quite like that. Um, I really, as I said before, love the industrial nature um, of the bike. I think it, it really, really adds to it. And the thing for me with these types of bikes, these are machines, they work horses, and I don't expect them to be some kind of fantastic custom bike. What I expect from this is to deliver performance and reliability. And I'm certainly hoping that that is the case with the uh, GSA. So, um, from the outset, I would say a really smooth ride. Um, the suspension feels uh, really good as well. I like, particularly for, for my style, I like it a little bit more rigid. And because I've got it in uh, Dynamic Pro, probably need to speed up a bit. I'm going a bit slow in a 60 doing 40. Um, I like the uh, uh, firmness of the suspension. 
Uh, obviously, you can change the suspension settings a bit, um, but I prefer that because it allows you to ride it in a slightly more sporty manner. Um, as per the GS, you've got a single setting here. So you bring that up and it highlights all your features and se uh, settings. So it's all in one place. You can then scroll down and you can select. So this is uh, the main feature is on windscreen. So that allows you to uh, take the windscreen up and down. And uh, it's currently in the highest position. So there we go. It's uh, going down and I'll take it back up. You can actually feel how good the, the protection is on the wind. Then it also allows you to have a secondary feature uh, or function, which you can hold. You can just basically uh, hold on the wheel and push to the right, and that sort of uh, enables uh, the uh, secondary function. So when you are in um, uh, on the road and you want to use the secondary function, you just hold down on the um, uh, menu button. And that activates the secondary feature and you're ready for a way you make your changes and then it resets and goes back to the normal bit so just heading in here as i said i'm looking to capture a few photos um so yeah absolutely feels really good uh this bike comes with the anarchy adventure tires which i uh, really like um, so that's a standard tyre. I believe there will be some other tyres as well. But for me, I guess uh, my favourite is uh, the Anarchy Adventure from the standard tyres. Mainly because of the wet weather performance. I find them really, really good. So I'm glad that uh, with today's uh, wet surfaces, I'm on uh, the right tyre for me. Um, so tyre choice obviously is very subjective. Uh, so make up your own mind, I guess. Um, but yeah, very, very well rounded. I really like the screen. I like the shape of the screen. As I said, it's quite effective. Um, just the ergonomics of the bike, really, really good. Uh, the way I'm sitting on the bike, really comfortable. I've got quite a tall upper body. So if you are someone who's quite tall and would normally have a raised uh, handlebars, you probably might not need that on this bike. Um, really comfortable and, and again going back to the clutch the changes are really really smooth um, obviously I'm not uh, um, punishing the bike I'm really quite uh, sedate it is a fairly new bike and obviously the last thing you want is uh, when you're doing something like this to uh, give the wrong impression but very very smooth and that is immediate, immediately noticeable I get the feeling that when you want to on this bike you'll be able to throw it around quite a lot and it will be fantastic on the bends. Um, like I say, it feels really comfortable. So particularly when you're on a long road, I feel that this is uh, going to help you chew up the miles. Um, so just, uh, you know, if you're going off road, standing up a bit, it's quite comfortable to stand on the, uh, on the pegs, um, big enough. So all in all, I believe uh, a really uh, good first impression. So I won't bore you too much with uh, my babbling on, but verdict from the outsets on this bike, phenomenal. Still very early, need to spend a bit more time on it. But uh, if you've got any questions about uh, any features and you want me to feed back and do some more video on it, you know, hit me up in the comments. And I'd be happy to uh, do some more video and show you more about it. Um, I'll do a more comprehensive review as well and uh, follow that up. But uh, initial, really, really good. Uh, as a passing comment, the one thing I would do with this bike is I would absolutely buy the uh, connected ride navigator. So the connected ride navigator, obviously your sat nav, works seamlessly with your phone. So you can plan routes at home upload them onto your phone and then it automatically downloads onto the sat nav on your bike you have everything together you can make changes on the go really really smooth and uh, certainly will improve your travel experiences particularly as and when you want to make changes it's something that i've spent quite a lot of time using so i'll keep quiet now 
there was a bit of a plug for the nav uh, but it genuinely is really really good uh, I've used uh, all the other systems as well and I find that to be the best I guess mainly because I don't want too much input I don't want a huge amount of uh, um, additional notifications etc so i just tend to put things off as well and for me the seamless nature really works so there you have it first ride impression fantastic so make up your own mind um barnstormer do have availability for test rides from the 24th which is thursday so if you do have any um uh, dying need to uh, book a test ride get in touch with them now they'll be able to help you and again I, I want to say a huge thank you for them to uh, making this bike available um, you know without that I won't be able to bring you all this uh, great content and uh, until next time thank you very much uh, see you soon